My father had died two months after I immigrated to Canada. He grew up in a small village in Ukraine, had copper red hair, lots of freckles, and born with one eye. He was gifted, but odd. By the time he was in grade 7, he assembled his first radio transmitter. His passion was born. He became a professor and taught microelectronics. Students loved his knowledge, his wit, his insight. I didn't see him. I grew up in his prime, an inventor with over 80 patented inventions before I was 10. He was always busy, always at work, always away. It was my mom with me in all my memories. I always had the feelings he couldn't see me. Was it because he had only one eye? Mama has told me how much Papa loved me, but how could I see it? Years have passed. Immigration is a good teacher. You learn to know what is really important to you. When my mom went back to Ukraine, I asked for only one thing. Our pictures. I remember having lots of photo albums. Finally, they arrived. All 30 pounds of our memories. I remember them all, the moments, the people, many of whom are long gone. Going through picture by picture, I started to see something. My father did see me from the moment we locked our eyes, well, all three of them, in the very first picture he took. He looked at me through the lenses of his camera, captured my every step, every expression, every little moment of my life, and seeing myself in these pictures, one after another, year after year, I realized that I saw him too. Now I can finally see him. A boy who grew up being bullied in school. A boy who didn't know how to express his feelings or how to say I love you. Somehow he invented his own way of saying I love you to all of us, to me, and I can see it now. Today I hold proof of Papa's love in all these precious photographs. All these little moments I thought have been lost in time. I may have lost my father but I discovered his love letter to me. I love you, Papa. I hope you can still see me.